how to make a free mobile app for business, no coding, Jotform tutorial. Hello everyone and welcome back. If you're someone that loves to use applications for their own business, but you don't know how to code and you want to build a simple application for things like inventory management or for employee onboarding, you can easily do it with Jotform. Although it is popular as a form builder, you can actually build mobile applications directly on Jotform. So let's get started. To get started on Jotform, simply head on over to jotform.com. Now on the top, you will see a section in your menu called templates, and you're going to click on app templates right under there. And this will actually show you all the different templates that you can use on Jotform. They have apps for everything from planner apps, transport apps, payment collection apps, rental apps, personal training, quiz, RSVP, and so much more. So you can really build any type of application that is necessary for your business. Now let's get started. To get started, click on get started now. It's free on the top right. Once you do that, you're going to click on sign up for free or you can proceed with creating your app and sign up later as well at the end. So I'm going to sign up right now and I'm just going to sign up with Google over here just for a quick and easy sign up on Jotform. And I'm just going to proceed with the steps of Google sign up. Once you do that, this is going to be your Jotform account on the top right. And now you can get started. Now for our mobile app, we have three options. We can choose to get started from scratch, use a template, or build a store. If you're looking for e-commerce functionalities, go for build a store. However, if you're looking for complete customizations, start from scratch. We're going to be using a template today. We're going to select the template and I'll show you guys all the different variations available for templates on Jotform. Now, once you go on ahead and open up the templates, you will see there are so many different options. And all you have to do is find the most relevant application to your basic goal. So on the left, you have different categories. And let's say that I want to build a simple HR app. So I can click on human resources app templates and I can open up these templates over here. We have a employee absence tracking tool, employee scheduling tool, job application, you know, multiple different tools, employee travel manager, employee app. This employee app is actually a really great one because this allows you to manage employees in a simple way, not in a very specific manner, but you have things like leaves, leave requests, training requests, employee referral, employee development, and much more. We can really choose the type of app you want. We're going to go with something a bit different. So I actually want to view some of the other applications like organization app. So this can help you in making sure everything is on track and put correctly. You even have things like educational and entertainment apps. You have inspection, inventory, and other apps. So we're going to go with inventory applications because those are something that do resonate with a lot of different industries, especially if you're in commerce, if you have a brick and mortar store, or even if you just are running a warehouse or managing a warehouse, having a inventory app is something that a lot of businesses do need nowadays. So we're going to open up several of these templates and let's just wait for these to load up so we can proceed with viewing all the different varieties of templates that we have for inventory management. We have a home inventory app, restaurant food inventory app, retail inventory app, heavy equipment, kitchen inventory, liquor inventory, vending machine, food pantry, book recommendation. So we're going to go with maybe the retail inventory app. I'm going to click on use template to get started with this template. And this would allow you to manage all the units that you have of each product on each location, warehouse, and actually find and source them for your customers. Oftentimes a customer might not be willing to purchase a product from another, you know, travel to another point just to purchase a product. So having these types of applications can help you in letting them know where the product is located. And if you can get them, get the product to them, directly in the store that they want it in and they can just pick it up later and this is something that you might have already done as a customer and there's just this simple app behind it that can help in accomplishing these things so we are going to go on ahead 
and proceed with building our app. Now this is what the app looks like. On the left, you have different elements that you can include, and then you have different widgets as well. Now, this has an image on the top. I don't want an image, I want a direct application. So fill to create an inventory and track your inventory. Then on the right, we have the preview where it says, okay, in our preview, it says fill to create an inventory, track your inventory. We have a retail store, which I'm going to name Spencer, product inventory manager. And then over here on the bottom, we have a contact page. I'm going to click on add page and we can click on this. This is our first page. Now from the left, you will see you can include things like documents, images, buttons, product lists, and I'm going to drag and drop a product list here. And once you do, you can actually name your product. So all the products that you have, you can add those over here. And we have a fill to create an inventory and track your inventory. We can click on edit form. And these are two forms that are linked to this application. And that's the thing with job form. The data that you're meant to add can be added in the forms directly on job form. And the data is then just updated and synced up from those forms. You can type in, you know, the inventory ID, stock location, product name, so on and so forth. This is what the form looks like you can see that there is a very basic field the form looks really simple and i don't think i want to add a lot of customization i'm not going to add the product section i think it's going to be a bit redundant to have like a build to create or track your inventory section so i'm going to go directly in settings and in our app settings you're going to have your app status then you have your progress bar, prevent cloning different you know, products, then your app name and icon. So we're going to change this to Spencer Inventory. And then we have the splash screen that we can customize as well. Then you can proceed with publishing it. Now you can click on open in a new tab and directly uh, make it a public application. You can also make it private if this is you know, for your internal use only. And once it has been created then you can use this application to just click on these forms and once a person clicks on these forms they can fill out the form they can view their submissions as well this is what it's going to look like on the application version and once they do you can see if i click on the properties this is directly linked over here and i'm just going to publish the app and i can open this in a new tab now, once we have the application, we can proceed with filling out inventory items. So whatever products you have, you're going to first log them in and then you can track them. So fill to create an inventory. Then once you do that, you're going to proceed and add the ID number. So let's say this is 001. This is placed in storage A. The product name is Satin Lipsticks. And the product description can be added, the unit price, the quantity in stock that we have, the reorder level, the reorder quantity, the level would be one, two, three. And then I can just click on save. And then just like that, we have a inventory submission for our product. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with building your own application using Jotform. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, you can leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.